next day I'm going to show you how the curvy cutter from EK Success works. We've done the circle scissor on a previous demonstration and that cuts from one inch to six inches. This one goes a little bit bigger so I'm going to show you how this works. So this is the curvy cutter. They do circles, they do ovals and they do rounded corner squares. So this is great for doing all your matting and layering. Right, so you can see there's two separate templates and you actually cut the circles on the inside. All right, so you don't necessarily work on the outside track. And I'm just going to show you, explain how it works. So if you look on here, if the camera can get in really close, you will see that there is words here and little colours and it says blue track, red track and black track. Okay, And these coordinate to these templates in the middle. Okay, So what you then do is you take the tool, this is the curvy cutter tool, and it works very similarly to the um, circle scissor in the fact that this rotates. Okay, so this does the work for you. You have a little blade here, which again, like the EK blades do, come with a guard because they are really, really sharp. So please be very careful when you're using this. Okay, and that just slides off to the side. And you get spare blades in the top here. So you just unscrew this and you get spare blades in the top. Now the way this works is that this unit we're here where the blade is moves in and out and it has little black marks on here and each one of these black marks represents a circle size on your template okay so your smallest circle cuts when you've got the actual blade furthest out so the further away from this unit it is the blade is the smaller the circle it will cut so that would be your smallest one and then you just move it backwards I actually tend to turn it upside down and push it in that would be your second size, your third size, and your largest size. Okay. So I want to put it in the track and show you this way, that'll probably make it a little bit clearer. So I'm going to use the biggest one here. Again, you've got to work on a glass mat. I would always recommend the UK mats because they're made from a, a certain glass. It doesn't blunt your blades as quickly as other glass mats can. So glass mat, I've got a piece of metallic card stuck, so probably a 280 GSM card, although you can go through thicker stuck onto the glass mat so it doesn't move and I'm just going to use this large template. So let's say I want to cut the largest circle which is seven and a half inches. So if I look on here that tells me that it's the fourth black line is seven and a half inches. So when I take this out and pop it onto my mat what I need to do is have this on my fourth mark which is that one you might want to label these what I've done is on some of mine is put um, a little one two three four so that you can remember which is which one being the smallest and four being the largest so I'm just going to put it as far back as it will go and then there's two little feet under here that just sit in the track so you need to make sure that they're sat in the track you'll feel it when it's sat in because it won't move right just slide your guard off I always work upside down so I can see that I'm not going to cut myself. Those two little feet in the track. And just like you do with the circle scissor, you're going to do this. But you're not going to press down with this one. Because the blade's already exposed, you don't need to press the actual unit down to expose, expose the blade. So just hold it however you feel comfortable. You might find it better stood up. And you just press down, hold your template with your left hand. And you just pull it towards you. Okay, and you can hear it cutting through and then you push away and I always like to go around oh I don't need to go around twice because it's cut as soon as the circle moves you know that it's cut so I can just show you that there you go you've got a nice larger circle so for scrapbooking etc these are really good okay so that's your circle scissor uh, curvy cutter We've done the circle scissor already. If you have any more questions on the curvy cutter, if you just email me through my blog or email Bramwells and we'll ask, answer any of your questions. Okay, see you soon. Bye.